morning again and welcome to St Mary's Star of the Sea in Leith, Edinburgh for our morning prayer today of Saturday the 11th of March. As we continue our Lenten journey at the end of the second week of Lent, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who grant us by glorious healing remedies while still on earth, to be partakers of the things of heaven. Guide us, we pray, through this present life and bring us to that light in which you dwell. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, 1 to 3 and 11 to 32. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say, and the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. A man had two sons. The younger said to his father, Father, let me have the share of the estate that you would, would come to me. So the father divided the property between them. A few days later, the younger son got together everything he had and left for a different country, where he squandered his money on a life of debauchery. When he had spent it all, that country experienced severe famine, and now he began to feel the pinch. So he hired himself out to one of the local inhabitants who put him on his farm to feed the pigs. And he would willingly have filled his belly with the husks the pigs were eating, but no one offered him anything. Then he came to his senses and said, how many of my father's paid servants have more food than they want, and here am I dying of hunger. I will leave this place and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. So he left the place and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with pity. He ran to the boy clasped him in his arms and kissed him tenderly. Then his son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the calf we have been fattening and kill it. We are going to have a feast, a celebration, because this son of mine was dead and has come back to life. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us take a moment to reflect on today's Gospel. In this parable, Jesus explores the mercy of God. It is about the response of the Father with a commentary from his two sons. The, father, the first son spoke on behalf of the expectations and norms of society in regard to his failures. He has sinned and is not worthy to be called son. He is no longer a son. In this, he is speaking the thoughts of Jesus, his audience. The only way to rectify his squalid condition is to return to his father and beg to be a paid servant. The father, moved by love, embraces the son and will not listen to the son's pleading. Without conditions, he restores his son. The listeners are outraged with the, this outcome, 
as is the second son. It is contrary to the accepted norms of society. But this, Jesus says, is the nature of the Father's mercy. God cannot be confirmed by human motives. We finish our time together this morning remembering all those who are sick, housebound, homeless and lonely and have no one to pray for them as we put them in the hands of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for joining us today and have a lovely day.